my dear friends, and welcome to this Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in the reading from Genesis, God is making a covenant with Abraham and his descendants. That very covenant is fulfilled in the life and person of Jesus Christ. In the Gospel we see Jesus is speaking about Abraham to his listeners. Jesus is telling them Abraham would have loved to see this day. Jesus reveals himself to his listeners with the words I am, the very words used by God himself when he spoke to Moses. Jesus is further telling his listeners that whoever believes in him will have eternal life. Right, my dear friends, let us reflect on our lives. Sometimes we have been hard-hearted like the Pharisees and the Jews in today's gospel. There are times when we have doubted the presence of God in our lives. For those times, let us ask for God's pardon. Together, let us say, I confess to my God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have prayed to do, through my thought, through my thought, through my most previous thought. Therefore, I ask that you may be a virgin to all the angels and saints and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Be near, O Lord, to those who plead before you, and look kindly on those who place their hope in your mercy that cleansed from the stain of their sins, they may persevere in holy living and be made full heirs of your promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Abram bowed to the ground, and God said this to him, Hear, now is my covenant with you. You shall become the father of a multitude of nations. You shall no longer be called Abram. Your name shall be Abraham. For I will make you father of a multitude of nations. I will make you most fruitful. I will make you into nations. And your issue shall be kings. I will establish my covenant between myself and you, and your descendants after you, generation after generation, a covenant in perpetuity, to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. I will give to you and to your descendants after you the land you are living in, the whole land of Canaan, to own in perpetuity, and I will be your God. God said to Abraham, You on your part shall maintain my covenant, yourself and your descendants after you, generation after generation. This is the word of the Lord. The sponsorial song. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Consider the Lord and his strength. Constantly seek his face. Remember the wonders he has done, his miracles, the judgments he spoke. 
Response? O children of Abraham, his servant, O sons of the Jacob he chose, he, the Lord, is our God. His judgments prevail in all the earth. Response? He remembers his covenant forever, his promise for a thousand generations. The covenant he made with Abraham, the oath he swore to Isaac. Response? Please rise from the gospel affirmation. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Your words are spirit, Lord, and they are life. You have the message of eternal life. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, I tell you most solemnly, whoever keeps my word will never see death. The Jews said, now we know for certain that you are possession. Abraham is dead, and the prophets are dead, and yet you say, whoever keeps my word will never know the taste of death. Are you greater than our father Abraham who is dead? The prophets are dead too. Who are you claiming to be? Jesus answered, If I were to seek my own glory, that would be no glory at all. My glory is conferred by the Father, by the one of whom you say he is our God, although you do not know him. But I know him, and if I were to say I do not know him, I should be a liar, as you are liars yourselves. But I do know him, and I faithfully keep his word. Your father Abraham rejoiced to think that he would see my day. He saw it and was glad. Then the Jews said, You are not fifty yet, and you have seen Abraham? Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, before Abraham ever was, I am. At this they picked stones to throw at him. But Jesus hid himself and left the temple. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in the first reading of today we heard how God makes a covenant with Abraham and promises to make him the father of many nations. My dear brothers and sisters, God makes his covenant with Abraham because of his faithfulness, because of his steadfastness, because Abraham obeyed God. On the other side, you see the Jews and the Pharisees refuse to believe in Jesus. Refuse not only to believe in Him, but also the works that He did. My dear brothers and sisters, here we see two attitudes. One of Abraham who was faithful to God and who obeyed every word of God. On the other side, you see the Jews and the Pharisees who refused to believe. On one side, you have the humility of Abraham, while on the other, you have the pride of the Jews and the Pharisees. My dear brothers and sisters, many a times in our lives too, we face these two choices. And many a times, we, in a way, oscillate between these two choices. We come closer to God by the choices that we make which are pleasing to Him. On the other side, we also, by our own choices, by our own desires, by the way we live our life, we move away from God. 
my dear brothers and sisters jesus is telling us whoever believes in him will have life eternal therefore we choose that which gives us eternal life we choose that which makes us happy we choose that which is pleasing to god a life that is pleasing to god does not mean that we will never have difficulties in our lives that we would never have trials and temptations no a life united with god a life connected with god will be a life which is for us not a bed of roses but a life where we place our faith and hope in god difficulties trials will come our way but when we place our faith and trust in god we will have the courage to face our trials and difficulties like we see a very good example in the saint of today saint stanislaus he was the bishop of poland in a way he stood for his values he stood for justice and he had to give up his life <coughs> my dear brothers and sisters let these examples the example of abraham the example of saint stanislaus the saint of the day help us and inspire us to live credible authentic and genuine christian lives for this let us pray to the lord And yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Let us pray. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these sacrificial offerings, that they may profit our conversion and the salvation of all the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received the heart to confess the infinite power of your Majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is your name in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the new fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Philip Neri our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and all is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, the Lord, 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 Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <laughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my life, but only say, Lord, and my soul shall be you.
beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you.